actually looks like it's almost gonna rain today. I actually did get my new shoes. It was actually there in the previous day. You can kind of see it as an example of my old worn out one. It's basically like almost flat. I've been walking a lot as you all know, as usual. And just for a little reference of what like a new shoe actually looks like on the bottom, you can see what it should be normally. What crazy stuff did I read today? Actually, the first one was a video that was sent to me. It basically happened around here, apparently in the Vancouver area. And as you guys all know, racism and stuff is basically a huge topic at the moment, just with what happened in the US. And with this video here, I was watching it and apparently what it dealt with is there's a lawyer or a person who claims to be a lawyer like around the Vancouver area who is upset, I guess, about China and what they're doing. I'm really careful about saying whether or not someone's racist, like they come up to me aggressive in that way because I don't know, like are they just being a jerk? So I'll pass the question on to you guys. Is this guy being racist here or is he just being a jerk? When the Chinese community, when the Chinese immigrate, that's a conscious decision, right? They immigrate here, they learn English, right? They accept the Canadian culture and they act accordingly, right? They don't change Richmond or everywhere else they go into little China, right? Because that's racism and that's, that's not only uh, racist, but that's a, a, a form of segregation, all right? We expect them to learn English and we expect them to blend into the Canadian culture, right? They made that conscious decision. They are no longer in Xinjiang or Bing Bing or Ding Ding or whatever you want to call it. They're now here in North America. And here, English is the common language and li the, 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 work, the language of work, right? Going down the road, no one's going to like the Chinese community because you seem to be culturally insensitive and you don't adapt. Sir, the, I, I really don't want to. Well, you're going to listen. Want you to uh, you want, okay? Do this some, some, yeah. some people, some Chinese move to Richmond so they. Yeah. All right, please. please. I, I made my views known. I made my views known. Yeah. This is a free country. I'm know. able to make yeah, my okay. views known. Why all are you right. Picking on us? Please, just because we're mad. We're asking all right. You we're mad. We're mad at China. No. We're mad at the Chinese we culture. Not all right. He's mad at China. He said, "Look at your own country. The history of your own country. Did you say that? Yeah. You're discriminating. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't talk to you. You came up to us and." Brent about how angry you were. Well, yeah. we are all yeah. angry as Canadians. You, you, we are all not angry. angry. We're not right. angry. Yes, oh, you thank are. you. Thank you. You should be. You uh, should be. We, said we, we have, have two Canadian. Canadians set in detention in China, void of due process. That's egregious. So you're going to yell at these guys? Yes. Why not? True. I'm mad about it, right? Did they put him there? Oh, yeah, and he's a lawyer. Is it their fault? He, he, he said he's he a lawyer. lawyer. Oh, okay. I claim that I'm a lawyer. McGill Law School, okay, in what, Montreal. What, what firm are you with? I'm semi-retired. I'm doing semi consulting work, all right? So what does like, for example, like a non-Asian think about this? Because I know obviously like people in a Chinese community would say that's obviously racist and stuff. Again, I try to be cautious when people do that because I don't know, maybe they're just some lunatic that's on drugs, for example. But again, would you consider this racist or not? It's kind of unbelievable too, if that's actually true. Like what the guy said in the video, he's a lawyer or semi-retired. How could this be like an acceptable behavior? This was an interesting, nice piece of read, I guess. It seemed like it was a regular bystander, like with a drone, and because of them, they helped the police officer, I guess, save someone's life. This one says, angel rings and life jackets to the rescue. A police officer using an angel ring came to the rescue of a man in strife who had fallen off the rocks at Sugarloaf Rocks in WA's Southwest over the weekend. Thankfully, the man was wearing a life jacket. It could have been a very difficult outcome had he not been. A police officer, guided by a drone being flown by an onlooker, was able to use the angel ring to get to the man and pull him free from the water. Another example, in my opinion, where there's actually more good that can be used, like with the tech and stuff like that. And imagine like this, oh no, it's illegal now to fly near a person, etc., etc., or even like over a person. Hey, I'm trying to save your life. That's why you have to have like the balance there in terms of something that's reasonable and something that's not just based on some what if hysteria. Because again, I think overall you can actually use it in a good way. On the flip side, it was interesting reading this one in the US because as you guys all know, a lot of places are having protests and riots and people are using things like drones to document the situation. How about if you're doing it perfectly legally, yet someone insists that you're doing it, I guess, illegally or whatever, or unsafe. This one here says, Broadway bar manager arrested for flying drone too low during downtown Nashville march. The man arrested during Saturday's peaceful march for justice in downtown Nashville says he was not breaking any laws and intends to fight the charge. 
According to Metro Police, Benjamin Dodson was flying his drone too low over the crowd on Broadway. The 34-year-old was arrested on a charge of criminal trespassing. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Dodson told News 2 following his arrest. Dodson, who is the general manager of a bar on Broadway, said he has logged hundreds of miles in flights with his drone and is well aware of the laws. He said he was not flying over the crowd and was not putting anyone in danger. He says, quote, it's an incredible moment and I was trying to capture that, Dotson explained. I informed the police officer that I'll be doing aerial photography from the sky with my drone. He said, you know, not an issue, just be careful. But I guess maybe it's a situation of good cop versus bad cop. It says, a few minutes later, Dawson said another officer approached and told him it was illegal to fly his drone over the crowd. Dawson said he explained to the officer he was flying over the building on Broadway and was hundreds of feet from any protesters. He told me to bring it home. As soon as I landed it, he said, you're under arrest. Dawson explained, they escorted me to an undercover van where they processed me, put me in handcuffs, and then transported me to Davidson County Jail. I was there for roughly three and a half hours. So with that, they kept his drone and he's going to fight it in court. And he says all the logs and stuff should show that he's doing nothing wrong at all, like flying over buildings, for example, and capturing the perspective. That's kind of nuts. I mean, to a lesser extent, even regular hobbyists do that to each other for some odd reason where someone's doing something perfectly fine, but they use like the what ifs or whatever as a way to stop people from doing things that are perfectly safe and valid. Makes me wonder where if this guy ends up being in the clear or not he can be compensated basically for this wrongful arrest and stuff like that. Come to think of it, it's been so long since I've been able to fly the pro just because of all this pandemic stuff. You can't really get like the parts and stuff, which I think I would need to do the test. Man, at this rate, there's gonna be like what? Like a Mavic 3 coming out or something like that. I can still tell the major difference, but a lot of you say you can't tell the difference. Just like, for example, filming the lake with a reflection. Compare it to what I can capture before with the Pro, there's a huge difference. Better than nothing though. Man, at this rate, I'm gonna wear this thing out just as fast, huh?
Alright, see you guys later.